five, four, three, two, one. Only is go. she's alive had a lot to think about overnight yesterday in the afternoon I've dragged it in my little shed there and pulled the um, timing cover off yeah and figured the only way I'm gonna fix this is by having a dig and then a bit of a painstaking job getting the timing correct it appears to be a Maggie that probably was an automatic advanced unit but the auto advance unit is missing. They sit on the outside of the gear and it's not on this one and whether it even fits or not, I doubt. Um, so the Maggie appears to be non-adjustable, which is a bit of a pain. So anyway, I set up the timing, which was a bit painful because there's no keyway, there's no spline, it's just a taper and we got it. So you heard it running. It's a little bit retarded at the moment. We can fine tune that but at least it goes. This bike's gonna be pulled apart and checked over and everything else. Um, haven't decided what I'm doing with that alternator yet. I pulled the cover off, I'll show you. It's pretty wild looking, so I dare say it's gonna get removed. Even if I run a battery somewhere, just to run lights and um, brake light, it's not as if I'm gonna be riding this thing at night much anyway. So a battery will be fine, a battery pack rechargeable, something like that. And I could just run the ignition off the mag fix all this up make it all back to sort of original again and um, yeah I'm pretty happy let's see if it'll go again oh yeah and don't stress about the smoke I've only got two stroke so it's running two stroke in at the moment a little bit smoky next you might ask I want to take it for a spin before I pull it apart and before I do that I'm gonna get rid of that alternator I haven't checked if it's charging but nothing works I've checked all the switches nothing works I don't want to run it it's ugly I've already whizzed my leg on that when it was running before so it's coming off um, engine runs with the uh, Maggie I'm happy with that right now so we'll get it to the point where I can take it for a ride. I'll need to clean out the fuel tank, make sure that's pumping clean fuel, make sure it doesn't leak. Get rid of that alternator. Lose that rack. And um, we'll take it for a spin.
and nothing like a quick little degrees to uh, highlight a few things. Check this out. She was someone's pride and joy. She's got chrome engine mounts underneath and at the front. It's got a chrome gearbox cover, chrome shifter, chrome kick. She's a uh, she was probably a bit of a piece back in the day. Oh yeah, was I saw this too. Chrome, chrome bolt up here. None of that stuff would have been on a military model. And I know this is military because the serial number is dated 1942. Pretty cool. There you go, there's nothing in there. Look at that, a little bit of a declutter and it's looking a million times better. That rear fender hurts my face, but that's all I've got at the moment. Looking good.
stunning. That turned out really good because it was vibrating all over the place. But I am really impressed. I'm not sure if these came out with a four-speed gearbox, but it's got one. And it just rides really smooth. It's so smooth. I'm really, really surprised. Wow. Brakes are terrible. But, man, it rides nice. Anyway. Huh. That's awesome. Well, that's it from me. Stay tuned. There's more coming on this. This is getting built for Rattletrap 2021. It's the same event I took Doris to um, a couple of years ago. And I'll be racing this next time on the beach. So I think we've got, I think that's in May. We've got a bit of time. She's going to look completely different, like I said. So anyway, that's it. Stay cool. See ya.